day of Holly's birth, I was a couple of hours away and had to rush to get back in time to greet her. It's a cliche to know I say that it was one of the happiest days of our lives. I will now fast forward 31 years, um, and we couldn't be prouder to have this beautiful, kind, determined and successful daughter. We shared in milestone events that most young people go through, ferrying to from, in this case, two universities, moving stuff between flats in London, as well as occasionally other milestones like recovering the car driven into the ditch and listening to garbled late night phone calls from a slightly worse for wear apple of my eye. Why, why are you ringing me, Holly? Why are you ringing home? Just to say I love you, Dad. I'm so, you shouldn't have said that, it's coming. <laughs> Um, I'm so proud to say that Holly is a wonderful daughter who deserves to continue to enjoy life to the full. We liked Mark as soon as we first met him. Polite, kind, articulate, considerate and caring, committed. Um, without doubt, he will look after Holly and as she will look after him, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And may I begin by welcoming you all here today to the absolutely beautiful setting of Caswell House for the marriage of Mark and Holly. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. That I, Mark Christopher Simmons. That I, Mark Christopher Simmons. Do take thee, Holly Jessica Butler. Do take thee, Holly Jessica Butler my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Holly Jessica Butler. That I, Holly Jessica Butler. Do take thee, Mark Christopher Simmons. Do take thee, Mark Christopher Simmons. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. So James, if you can put it to me. I promise to love and respect you, helping our love grow, always being there to listen, comfort and support you, whatever our future may bring. I promise to love and respect you, helping our love grow, always being there to listen, comfort and support you, whatever our future may bring. Mark and Holly both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of all of your families, friends and witnesses here assembled. Therefore, it gives me the greatest privilege and honour to announce that you are now husband and wife together. Mark, you might like to kiss your bride. For those that don't know, Polly and I met just over four years ago we were both living in Clapham and both working in offices around Victoria. So naturally, being 21st century Londoners, we met on a dating app. After a year of dating, Polly asked me to move in with her at a flat she'd recently bought in Surrey. After two years of dating, she started dropping some not so subtle hints <laughs> about getting engaged, increasing in frequency as time went on. <laughs> Having recently booked us a holiday to Asia, I had the idea of proposing while in Thailand on Holly's 30th birthday. Just before we were about to head out the door of the hotel room for dinner, and feeling slightly nervous, I grabbed the ring box from its hiding place and started walking over towards Holly. Being the astute person that she is, she spotted the ring box immediately. And realising what was about to happen next, Holly started to tear up. And not wanting to ruin her makeup, she uttered the three words that every man wants to hear when proposing. Oh no, don't. <laughs> I was a bit taken aback. But thankfully I persisted, and even though it's not normal for her to change her mind, she quickly said yes.
Polly, you're an intelligent, thoughtful, kind and beautiful person. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I love you with all my heart. I can't imagine life without you. And I'm looking forward to spending the rest of our lives together.